This is a Cardano video about a $58 ADA. By 2030, I think this video is going to rile some people up. Don't get riled up. If you're out there, don't get riled up, everyone. This is, this is fun. This is interesting stuff right here. $58 by 2030. Right off the bat, don't comment yet, right? A lot of people comment on my videos without watching the video. Let's talk about this. Let's talk, let's dive into what is behind this article. What is behind what drove this article? The, the analysts that drove this, $58 by 2030. Let's dig into that. Special shout out before we do uh, to, I was just on this space. I don't know, is it still going on? It looks like it's still going on. Uh, I'll put a link in the description. There'll probably be a recording by the time I post this video. Low Fuss Crypto, Dean, Cardano, Ada, Ada Police. Thanks for hosting that. I popped in there. Really, really cool chat. Um, and yeah, go go check that out. Just talking about Cardano. Cardano FUD was the base basis of it, but talking about a bunch of different other things about what Cardano is doing. Let's talk about this. And this is partly how, that's partly how I found this article about what is going on uh, with this price prediction, $58 by 2030. And before I talk about my opinion on that, whether or not it's going to happen, whether or not it's possible, you can check out the timestamps. I'll put it there if you want to skip right to that. But I want to, I want to look over this poll. So according to the opinion of the analyst consulted, Cardano's price will reach $58 by 2030. So I clicked through, this is a Bitcoin.com article. I went to the finder.com poll or a prediction article about this. And there are some really, really cool points made through this analysis. And I, I want to point it out. So let's start here. In July, our panel expected ADA to hit a value of $7.26 by 2025, and then go to $26.59 by 2030. The panel now expects ADA to hit $8.18 in 2025 and $58.04 by 2030. Just for some brief context to these price points, they're saying originally in July, they were saying around a $26 Cardano by 2030, which actually wouldn't even be a trillion dollar market cap for Cardano by 2030. That has updated to now a $58 uh, $58 Cardano by 2030. And that's almost a $2 trillion market cap now by 2030. I, I think I'm running the math right in my head. I d actually didn't prepare with the exact number, so forgive me, but you know, feel free to correct me in the comments. But $58, probably around a $2 trillion market cap for Cardano, for context. Chief Product Officer at Permission, Vanessa Harris, was one of the more bullish panelists on the coin and expects its value to end 2022 around the $3 mark. So kind of talking a little bit shorter term, meaning by the end of this year, $3 mark for Cardano. That is 100% in play. It is one of the few smart contract platforms that have placed security correctness and decentralization at their core, backed by formal methods and peer-reviewed research. What does that sound like to you if you're familiar with the, the trilemma, the crypto trilemma, solving the issues, the three issues of decentralization, scalability, and security? What does that sound like, what she just said? Cardano is one of the few smart contract platforms that has placed security, correctness, and decentralization at their core. And it's so true. So Harris goes on, while this means Cardano moves more deliberately in the short term, long term, this resilience should support adoption by nation states and non-governmental organizations. We are already seeing this adoption happen in Ethiopia and Tanzania. And that's, that's the point. We're already seeing the adoption happen and this is one of the reasons why I think Cardano is undervalued is so many people are not paying attention to that. So many people are not paying attention to the fact that Cardano is really successfully, maybe a little slower than most want, successfully solving the, the trilemma that we find in blockchain. And it's doing so, right? I mean, look at, look at the staking mechanism alone. I say that all the time, but it's such a huge point to highlight in terms of Cardano. So we have the CEO on Index also thinks the future of Cardano is high, adding ADA is one of the most underrated assets as the smart contract and DeFi stabilize. We should see many projects migrate to it. Couldn't agree more. It's one of the most underrated assets. It really is. And there are so many different things from so many different directions coming and firing at Cardano, and that's fine. I think Cardano in the long term will prove itself. 
But I think that lends to how underrated it is. People aren't paying attention to it. A lot of people do believe the narrative that, that gets spread and it's false narrative most of the time about Cardano. Uh, and they, they fall into that. So Cardano has to do this thing where it's proving itself through its technological advances rather than proving itself just from a sentiment aspect, right? A sentiment, a social sentiment aspect alone. It has to prove itself te technologically. I mean, not. I, I never like pitting Ethereum and ADA against each other. It's good to compare them, obviously. But Ethereum, there's so much, there is so much that Ethereum community is waiting waiting on uh, from Ethereum. But it's, it's for Ethereum, it seems it's okay. You know, we got all day. But a Cardano is like something about it. Like, there's there there's some reason why why people can't be patient with Cardano, and it's actually successfully rolling out uh, these these upgrades and all these hard forks and these new features to the blockchain, and it's amazing to see. But again, underrated because many people not paying attention to that. Uh, I highlighted this since Cardano's Alonzo upgrade, its price has dipped. However, our panel is unable to agree on just what was the cause. And look at this. This is the perfect. These are these are panelists of analysts, and they they just look how split, look how unknown, right? It's just general volatility. It's still just the early stages. Uh, absence of market share in terms of total value locks, DAP exploits. Nobody knows. That's the whole point of of what you see on the screen. It's a perfect vis visualization. Nobody does know. I tend to just completely lean into the fact, and I always say this: this is what crypto does. It's what it's always done, and it's what it's going to probably continue to do. Uh, and that is, it's volatile, right? This is this is a Cardano chart, but you can simply look at a Bitcoin chart zoomed out. Um, where's a Bitcoin chart? Here's a Bitcoin zo zoomed out, 55% dip in, in 2021, 60% dip 2020, going into the bear market low, 80, 80 plus percent dip for Bitcoin. It happens all the time, and every time everybody's trying to figure out why it happens, but it just happens. And of course, at different times, there's different things going on in the world, and people want to attribute to, to, to that. And maybe it is a trigger of sorts, but it just happens. And what I like about the charts and why I cover the charts so much is that is actually more consistent than all the FUD and the guesses that are out there. All the talking points and the narratives that everybody has, charts are actually more calm and consistent, and I like it. So we're looking at price right now, and we're looking at Cardano's in a historically kind of oversold territory, at least when it comes to quicker moving momentum oscillator, like the stock RSI down here, MACD. Uh, the RSI is leveled out in around the same range as we've seen in previous uh, lows on the macro. And the same goes for Bitcoin when we, we kind of zoom out on those charts. We're at levels that Bitcoin has been in previous cycles that have proven to be kind of good opportunity areas, or at the least the very beginning of good opportunity areas. So that's the answer to that. But let's let's kind of circle back to this. Cardano to reach $58 by 2030, according to Finder's poll, according to these analysts and, and, and their view and their perspective on the situation. I'll say this. Let me start with a blanket statement, a very blanket statement that might trigger some people. $58 by 2030, as Cardano sits here as I do the video, 96 cents, it's going to sound crazy. $58 by 2030 is possible, right? In the next eight years, it is possible for Cardano to hit in the vicinity of a $2 trillion market cap. I just think it is. With the trajectory and the, the pace in which crypto is growing or has grown in the last three years, now with a foundation built, or I should say three or four years, now with a, uh, and I'm talking about specifically about Cardano, now with a foundation built, imagine how, imagine how much quicker it could gain in value and what can be built on top of it in the next eight years and how quick things could really progress from not only a, a technology perspective, but a price perspective. Things could really blow up. Uh, so we've seen Ethereum hanging out in the $500 billion market cap. Ethereum's already been, Ethereum's already 25% there, right? To 2 trillion. And if Cardano's solving some of the bigger issues that Ethereum has had trouble, and if it succeeds, what's possible for aid in the next eight years? I think a lot. And I think two trillion is possible. I don't want to I don't want to just sit here and say it's going to happen or I think it's going to happen. I don't even want to put that prediction without me thinking more about it. I mean, I just read this article, but I will say it's possible. We know a $31 Cardano is around a trillion dollar market cap. I mean, we can see that happening sooner than later. 
I know it doesn't feel like it because we've just seen downturn and downtrend, and I'm not trying to throw hopium out there, everyone, but this is such interesting data to cover because we are early stage in this technology. We're early stage as investors, even still. It might not feel like it. I know a lot of people feel like they've gotten late into crypto, but in my view, we're still early stage and there's still so much, so much money uh, to be poured into crypto and Cardano. And I just, this is a perfect example. Long term, this resilience should support adoption by nation states and non governmental organizations. If that adoption that we're seeing in Ethiopia and Tanzania, if that continues, I expect price will rise. And I think price will rise pretty nicely. So those are my thoughts on it for now. I think it's something worth digging a little bit deeper into from a numbers perspective, maybe from a chart perspective. But I wanted to cover that article. Uh, I thought it was very interesting. All the while, I want to mention this. I got to cover this again in another video. But Cardano, not even with an adjusted transaction volume, but with transaction volume number one. So that's interesting to see this. And we were talking about this in this spaces that we that I was just in. Um, really interesting to see that data right now. So I want to also dig into that and see what's going on with that. But those are my thoughts, everybody. Let me know your thoughts. Hopefully you watched the whole video before commenting. Uh, but either way, I appreciate each and every one of you. I'll see you in the next video. God bless.